Hey guys, it's Rec. Welcome back to Bioshock. We're in Neptune's Bounty, and we're going to go down into the depths. Into the depths of the depths of the depths of the completely I hate this place so much it's not even funny area land that is this place that I don't like. Vending machine, hack it. So, I bet you're wondering, why does Rec hate this place so much? Why does he not like it? Well, I'll tell you why I don't like it. Because of giant, bleeding, rosy big daddies that are freaking impossible to kill. Especially on hard mode. So, we're going to be doing a lot of saving, a lot of yelling, a lot of frustration in general. I'm the Easter Bunny! I got Easter Bunny presents. So we're gonna meet her later. She's, um, actually, we might have met her before, uh, but I'm not completely sure on that. And this is all Big Daddy. This Big Daddy is going to be very, very difficult to take out. For one reason and one reason only. It has a gun. Guns change the strategy of killing Big Daddy significantly. What we're going to have to do to kill this big daddy is we're going to have to go telekinesis and let's see if I remember correctly electric buckshot so we're going to fill our gun up with that and we're going to wait a little bit because something's going to happen here you fat whale give it to me But while that's going on, let's continue forward a little bit. Hide back in here in the corner. Switch to... Lightning. And we need to make sure we got that turret hacked before we do anything else. Yes, I just ignored those two splicers. This is a very important turret we have to hack quite immediately. Otherwise, something might happen to it. Okay, so there are two splicers right behind me. I'm going to have to do some maneuvering to be able to get out of this situation. So... Quick! That was epic. Okay, I'm sorry. That was amazing. I had a feeling you were down there in that water somewhere. Okay. So that's all done with. Um, but now that all of that's taken care of, we can go ahead and investigate up here a little bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that Eve hypo, because I'm totally out of uh, my juice right now. And I know what I said about the whole, oh, I'm not going to spend money on ammunition, I'm going to spend it all on Eve Hypos. Well, for this part, we kind of need to spend it on a little bit of both. So... Is that Big Daddy in the water? Hang on a second. <laughs> I might be able to do to work another bit of stuff into my strategy here if I do this right. So... Not quite, but that's fine. Run away, 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 run away. Switch to our shotgun. And now we have to do a lot of baiting to get him actually through that door. Um... No, I'll pass on that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Come on, big guy. 
Didn't want that. I wanted this. How did I miss? How did I miss again? Where did he go? Oh, he went all the way down there. What the heck? Okay, reload. I'm gonna take a quick save right in the middle of combat, if you don't mind. Because this is going very, very well, and I do not want to mess this up. Suck it, Rosie! Whoa, God! Grenade to the face, grenade to the face. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Don't mess up now, we're so close to killing this thing. Yeah! Get owned! Get owned! Oh! Oh! Alright, I'm sorry, that was probably a little bit overzealous, but that Big Daddy is hard to kill! I'm sorry! Yes! So you saw my strategy there for dealing with that big daddy. Um, now that we've saved three little sisters, we get our first present from Tenenbaum, which is going to be in the form of this bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. What do you have for us? Oh, hey, look at that. 200 Adam. Oh yeah, saving the little sisters definitely worth it. We're not going to use Hypnotize Big Daddy right now, we'll use that later. It comes in handy later. But um... Be careful, there's a grenade right there. Don't hurt yourself. Alright, anyway. Gatherer's Garden. Now, I think if you play the PC version, you actually get access to uh, some of these downloaded plasmids. Um, Sonic Boom is the first one, and it comes in handy sometimes, actually. And it's only one atom, so you might as well buy it. But I'm going to get it later when I actually have room for it. Machine Buster, not really needed since we kind of hack every single one of those things. But what we're going to get is we're going to get plasmid slot... And our plasma slot is going to be incinerate. Yes, we've already seen this, thank you. Um, then the other things we are going to get... What else can we get that would probably be a good idea? Winter Blast. Some people tell me that it's actually rather good. But... No. Because see, if you freeze something in this game and you shatter it, it'll kill them like in one hit. But you don't get any loot off the corpse. And if you're not getting loot, you're not getting money. Uh, it's just not worth it, in my opinion. So I'm going to grab a health upgrade, an eve upgrade. I think that gives us enough room for one more plasmid slot. So with that plasmid slot, I guess we can go ahead and take Hypnotize Big Daddy. No problem with that. Um, I think we're good to go with all that stuff in mind. So... Yeah, I think I probably did something wrong there, actually. I probably should have taken Eve Link, but that's probably not a big deal. We'll be getting more Adam in this level eventually. So, let's run down here and let's... We we hide from the light down here. Come on, then! Fight me properly! I'd rather not. I don't even know where you are, Mr. Dude. Hello? This is the wages of sin! Coward! I'm not a coward. I don't know where the hell you're at. And we got it. All right. I seriously don't know where this guy's at. I keep hearing him down here, and he's just like. I think he's just like stuck somewhere. I don't know. Anyway. Who can blame a lady who craves variety? I can't. My lady craves variety all the time. She gets bored easily. By bored easily, I mean pretty much just like me. 
That's why we both have trouble playing World of Warcraft. And one day, the gentleman stopped calling. Can't get up there unless I'm dead. Okay. So, we got a few things here we can collect really quick. I'm not going to drink that whiskey right now. Um, go ahead and break this health station. And we're going to have a little bit of a run-in with someone here in a bit. But first, we're going to use telekinesis to get all that crap off the walls. Or throw it back for absolutely no reason. Where'd that buckshot go? I want that. Nowhere, I guess. Okay, so before we open the store, I'm going to save it again really quick. Just like so. Actually, I don't think she can kill... Oh wait, no she can kill you, I lied. For some reason I was thinking that she couldn't actually kill you, but uh, I proved myself wrong there. There's something special about this fight that I'm not remembering quite appropriately. I don't think you can... Ah, that's it. You can't kill her at this stage. You have to run away from her. I think. Maybe. Nah, it's a little hazy. Use anti-personnel machine gun ammo against unarmored targets. Seems like a good idea. Let's do that. Ow. 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 She hits like a truck. Ow. 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 There we go. She's a crazy bitch. So that was Peach Wilkins. He, um, he's insane, but... Indeed we do. And we have something cool to do it with now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is our grenade launcher. We don't have the great things for it yet, but we'll get them eventually. <laughs> 